Uh, we're gonna start with some crew talks and then we're gonna either hunt for our change draw or get Kasumi and then hunt for our change draw. So I got myself a bunch of new armies. I if I'm actually gonna get Kasumi first because all of the people we have with us they already have armors on. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Why were you on your knees? Oh. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers. Brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Yeah, that's mean as hell. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Ah, oh, I wish we could have had is a squad mate for the final mission or so. If it would be more detailed or more like me too. I worked with an STG captain named Kirahi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Good. We got Fane. We got Samara. We got Miranda. I won't talk to Jacob. She just has that bloody tone every time. I can't have it. Oh, Said. I oh, know. He just does stories. And he doesn't have any new outfits. Maybe the next time I mod the game up. We got Miranda with a new hairstyle. I already showed it. Two episodes ago, so but I won't take her on too many missions anymore. Commander, what can I do for you? People with new armor to take with us. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe oh. another time. And she doesn't even want to talk to us. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. And I'm supposed to know what you mean. I want upgrade. Whenever you yeah. have the time and resources, let me know. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Okay. So maybe Fane or Samara do not have anything to say themselves. Fane? Do you need something? You and Fane? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worshipped Protheans? 
They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Music to load. Should I cut it down a little bit? So, it was at five. No, it's at three. The difference is... Uh, no. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the compact. It was an honor for our family. The compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the compact. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Mind control too, eh? <laughs> the Hanar sound like wimps. The way you describe it, the Hanar sound like weaklings. Out here they are. But if you could see them in the encompassing, the oceans of Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. Laughter like the squeals of a child vibrates the water. They fly over the black of the seabed like birds. Plumed with the light of heaven. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes? When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Mm. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Well, no, keep talking. I don't mind it. I normally don't too much of blue talks. I want the action. Dear dear, I can bear it. Talk. Shepard, how are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. Ooh. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? That makes no sense. Tell me what it would take. It must be here. Ah. Cool. Take it. Oh, I should take it. Okay. Let's get Kasumi first. We need people with new armors, and she has. No messages for you, Commander. So got the money. That's gonna be a weird journey. Duh. Duh. <laughs> oh, where's she at? The Master Thief. I'd rather recruit the Master Chief, though. Probably more, way more useful. Okay. We want to do a side mission. I got... It's good stuff everywhere. <laughs> oh, I could mix and match. I'm pretty sure. Ah! That's definitely modded. Let's see, do we have something else like that? We got it twice. 
One brother the female. Oh. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Let's take that with us. Casual cut. Let's go with that then. Bam. I won't wear a mask too often. Hey. If it's already there and looking cool so that Kasumi armor. I want to do a citadel shopping, talking and a meeting with Anderson another time. I don't have too much money now. I need to do some measures first. Collect some crew mites. Crew armors. Take with me. We got Fan here. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> oh, I don't even get too many points, damn it. Oh, it's. Yeah, another time. She looks Commander cool. Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. The gift is you, right? Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Cut to crap. That's <laughs> the password. No. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you look like, I knew it was you. I mean, you still don't know what I look like. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. I always do. Shut your mouth. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. No, oh, I hate this mission. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Yeah, okay. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll no, be fun. Not. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Hi. Can I call you down immediately for a group photo? That outfit actually looks cool. Like it's somehow traditionally troll. Um, can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! <laughs> Mask and armor is cool, so I might use that more often. Second like that. 
Okay, Jacob, since you looked stupid, that goddamn cutscene. Now let's go for something that looks similar to mine. Yeah, let's just go for the normal one then. If it's even normal. If it's even normal. Bam. Oh, she turned away in the last second, didn't she? Yeah. Perfect. Kind of. Maybe we find some better light here. Let's see. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster. Perfect. That's better. That's actually way better. We have even Fane in the background. With that. Bam. We're gonna cut it right here. I don't know if you see that. But that's exactly the right side is gonna be colored and the left side is gonna be Don't black and white. Back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main. Good. I'm gonna cut it. I will see you on Omega. Burp. And we have a completely different goddamn day since this part in the previous one. The cut, I mean the cut, I cut at it. I don't know what I was doing. I believe that was right before wrestling training. And we get the Kasumi squad here tomorrow. I closed my eyes. That's a cool picture though. Why the particles in the back flying. That's a cool picture. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely <laughs> for to shoot. Okay. Yeah, that's also good. Perfect. Perfect. Flying particles are amazing. Some is weird looking. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh-huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. How the hell was that the Paragon answer? Lying. Lying. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. The collector's plan for them. Ahead. Come on, let me in. I think I need to shop anything. I don't think I need to shop anything. I feel like I bought everything of value here. I brought new guns with me, I believe. I can't shoot them right now. I will find a place to shoot them. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. 
Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. What? So, you're here to fight them. What the hell was that? Oh, that's part of the game? Huh. Huh. And my comeback was weak as hell, too. Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing, operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garn's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? I want all my squad mates to be alive. That's what I always do in my suicide runs. Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we've dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a vorch out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. <laughs> the tactic. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. A five-year-old can figure out how to use a gun. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. You're welcome. Don't think too hard about me. You worked hard. Oh, this... What the hell was that stripper line, damn it. Oh. I uh, could have sworn I saw a mod somewhere where Biker to me the mod changes their sexual lines about female shepherd. Come on, let me in. Oh, I feel like that makes the game more realistic, right? So Gavorn. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorchet Task Force. Got something to report? I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Just like your voice. But um Right here, and I need to be right here. Talk to me. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Let's go. Ready when you are. Get in. Let's hope I can switch armors. I want Tali armor. Otherwise, well, it might be too late. We got Kasumi. Let's get her into something different. All black. This weird one, this outfit was also not that cool. I believe I had you already. I don't, I want the super green one. Super green, yeah. Cool. I don't 
Not have points to spend. That looks the best. Ah, oh, that's my weapon. Ah, oh, damn it, no, I'm a switch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Done. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. A dangerous plan. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. Sumi always looks like she has no plan what's going on, like she's high as hell and doesn't know which situation I got her into. But we got her here to steal Archangel. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down. But they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. Mm, that's enough. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Alright, don't even want to speak with everyone here. Getting out should be fun. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Like we still got armor, everything. Just Shepherd, I've scanned super the area, obvious. I don't even want to talk to angel. the bosses. Guess we're going with the mercs. Uh, I Can't guess some mess with them a little, but not go into every detail. But our change and stuff. Okay, first door. As the first wave here. goes in, you. the inf Do you need something? You lead the eclipse. You figure that out by yourself. I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? One question. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. This face call looks amazing. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. I'll get going. Good idea. Um, yep, cool. So cool. Let's figure out that's the way I can do I can hack into, right? No. Filthy human. There we go. So I need sabotage it all. That should slow them down. Excellent. If they activate it, it'll be as much trouble for them as for us. Oh, good, good. Leave us alone. I'm hacking Jesus. Cheats. Ah. Oh. Go away, freelancer. Uh, you. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Why are the blood pack on Omega? 
Where the muscle on this bloody station? You need protection or want someone removed? Talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. And enough of those talks. He's at least interesting to talk to. Go find your own enough kind. Enough proven in the game. What's up, bro? Was something back here? No. No. Ammo. Thank you. It's not back. No, I cannot press anything. More things to steal. Ooh. We can use this. Oh hell yeah. Let's see a pulse all salute. Thank you. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I've missed one person in here. I Okay, I can't go through for the account. Anyways, let's dive in. Say hello. I'm so it's me. Don't come to get that gun shot. Get this freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. I just have a few questions about the operation. Jenta, get this scum out of my face. Over here. Next wave's going soon. Shouldn't you be outside getting ready? Why is he so pissed off? He's not a big fan of you freelancers. Doesn't trust people he doesn't know. Hates having to bring in outsiders. What do you want to know? What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure I'm you check done. in with Kafka. Damn it. Let's go. Last oh, person to meet. Hello. What do you want, freelancer? Say hello. Say hello. You... I'm looking for Sergeant Kathka. You and me both, lady. He's over there, working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Oh, we actually see him, kinda. Nothing. Over there. Everything looking good. Recording was seven hours. Okay. We got the seven dollar mark, which is good. Let's talk to him. Uh, it is an electrifying personality, man, and damn it. Kafka. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you 
must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Mm. Ask. Are you gonna Damn. give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. And a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight. Where a go? Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. Of course, I'm gonna do that. Come on, it's a free assist to make this mission easier. Oh, and it's just badass. So electrifying. This doesn't look good for Archangel. We've got nothing better to do. Let's go. Two people are never brought to this mission. Wait, well, one of them you unlock too late. So that should be interesting. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Get ready. Not yet. Not yet. I got you, I got you. I got so many guns that you can't even play in this game. Okay, no. She's an archangel! No. It's gonna be... That's a shotgun. Taking heavy fire! That won't work. Nope. Control. Oh shit. What the hell is this thing? Quit! <gasps> oh no. That's not a good gun. It's not a good gun to use. Oh boy. So edged. The talent kind of works, but this thing so far, God, not good, not good. This looks interesting. Tech damage. Contact. I do need that. Don't know if it's even lethal. Now you see me. Ooh. Yeah, it works. Okay, the pistol works. Looks like it has range too, but the SMG is no go. Can't use that. And we're only gonna meet Archangel in the next part. Give me loot. No. Okay, let's shoot that snapper thing. That's what we need next. Oh yeah. Raptor, right? Raptor. That's the name. Good, let's keep this here, let's save it, and then we're gonna meet the one and only, I'm curious if I can sneak a picture from here, a 41 picture, okay, okay, 
can sneak a picture. Well, uh, not quite as cool. It's my team looking. Very cool. There we go. Good, good, good. Let's stop. Cut it. Cut it. We're done. 